Welcome back to Spoonsville. Hello. Hello. We're covering today Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. Yeah, first of the sh- first of the series. Yeah. Yeah. Came out first time watching it. Yeah. <laughs> Millionth time watching it. So it's interesting. It's always interesting when you have that. You know, I've been watching it probably a couple times a year ever since. <laughs> now, of course, for me, so it's a big part of my childhood. You know, it's one of those where can't help but feel nostalgic and warm feelings, you know. So, you know, we got the two perspectives. You just saw it now, so maybe it's a little different. Yeah. Obviously, I am aware that nostalgia can paint a different thing. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. What would you, overall, how'd you feel? Uh, (laughs) I did not want to review this because I felt like (sighs) not a lot of... I can take it. No, no, it's not, it's not that it wasn't great. It's just that it's, it's, uh, it's just a fun movie, you know? It's a simple plot line. Yeah. It's a simple plot. And yeah. I think the movie is really just, it's an adventure yeah. type of movie. And all it is, is just pure and simple fun. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And so that, I feel like stuff, movies like that are harder to, right. to analyze. Yeah. Cause yeah. then you have to, well, I mean, you can talk again. It's one of those where you look at it as if that's what it was meant for then you can, how well did it achieve that, I suppose, right? I can, I, I guess I'll speak to, um, the plot was pretty clear cut, I guess, but at the same time, it wasn't. That like, There were plot twists that made it interesting, right. for example. So when I, after watching the whole movie, I'm like, okay, fine, the plot was easy, to, was simple. Yeah. You have um, this guy, Will, uh, William Turner, trying yeah. to save Elizabeth, yeah. the love of his life, yeah. and then enlist the help of, Jack Sparrow and kind of he thinks he's twisting Jack Sparrow's arm but later you find out that actually Jack really also had ulterior motives he wants to get back his his ship the Black Pearl right and so little things like that the plots little plot twists um, which I think were really nice nothing too insane but also kind of to keep you oh what's going on to keep you in yeah. the in the loop or like focused and yeah yeah i think they, drawn in. They, they, they do a good job at sprinkling in information and backstory throughout where yeah. you find out oh, about yeah. Will's father later on and how that connects to all the other characters and yeah, yeah. that was also really nicely done too yeah. the, the how they did that and, and well, you know i was i remember i was thinking about it at one point because actually as much as i actually don't i don't think i i, I don't like the second and third movies as much although i still enjoy them but I actually found a lot of cool metaphors in them. And then I was like, you know, the first one, as much as I, I think I like it more, it doesn't really have that. But then when I thought about it, I'm like, oh, there's actually a pretty obvious metaphor in terms of, you know, like the constant consumption of trying to accumulate more and more wealth and it never actually satisfies. Oh, yeah. You know, like that's it's a great thing. It's a great metaphor for that. It's like, yeah, you can keep you can keep stealing, gathering and, and trying to amass more stuff. But really, you know, you'll find yourself empty. I think the acting, okay, I can talk about the acting. The acting was great. I like the the plot twists. I like yeah. the acting. Everybody was fantastic. Yeah. Um, the score? The music? Oh, yeah, the music. Yeah. And Hans Zimmer, Klaus Badalt. No one ever gives Badalt the credit. Well, no one always remembers Zimmer. No one remembers Klaus. You're just much more intense with movies, which I love. <laughs> I love that. Um, of course, Johnny Depp. I feel like I, I, I'm going to say a lot of this. The movie, <laughs> honestly, he... Um, he just kind of steal the show. It, he steals the, sh- yeah. the show for sure. Yeah. And um, because like Kira Knightley, she's always great in period dramas mm-hmm. all the time, honestly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's serious. It's a serious role. Yeah. And um, what's the other guy? Um, the love Orlando interest. Bloom. Orlando Bloom. Yeah. Bloom. He doesn't really have a lot yeah. going on in that just movie. Just the straight guy, the love He's interest. Just, yeah, right? simple. Yeah. yeah, like that's about it, yeah. really. Um, but yeah, like, uh, it works. Yeah. It works. Uh, they needed to be there, and that's about it. Yeah. Um, they carry the serious parts of the movie, I would say. Yeah. But yeah, but then the other actors, the smaller characters, mm-hmm. I thought were also really good. Like yeah. we were talking about, what's his name? Pintle and yeah, was it Rigetti? Rigetti. Yeah. The guy with the eyeball. Yeah. Yeah, they were little yeah. things like that. Yeah. And Jeffrey Rush. Things. Yes. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Rush, Rush was so great yeah. in this. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> well, it's it's, it's, it's funny. So good. It's funny you say that because yeah, that's always been one of my favorite parts. Yeah. Even before I knew who Jeffrey Rush is. In some ways, I almost liked him, not more than Jack Sparrow's character, but there was something about it's Barbosa yeah. that yeah. he's got so much personality. And I also really liked, I like villains that you end up feeling kind of bad for them at the end when they I get know. taken down or killed or whatever. Because at the end of the day, he realized, oh, like, I did all this stuff. I betrayed, you know, the my captain. I, I went through all this stuff. We, we had to spend years and years, you know, getting back all the stuff that we spent for nothing, really. 
and at the end you just wanted to enjoy the taste of apples again. Yeah. You know? And I'm like, I can relate I, to that. I don't yeah. hate him because yeah. he's I just was so endeared to yeah. him. Yeah. He was so cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's cute, he's witty. He's you witty, know, he's yeah. interesting. He's yeah. interesting. And I felt like, man, you know, I wish that he hadn't died. Maybe mm-hmm. if he'd just kind of okay, I'm sorry. I know I messed up. Yeah. Um, but it was. I loved watching him. He yeah. was so great yeah. in this mo- in this uh, in this movie. Yeah. Well, and that's yeah. the, that's the thing with it, with, which I think they got right. Is a lot of times when they try and, for instance, make like a a game or a theme park or a theme ride into a movie, they don't put enough effort. But this one, they went all out, and I think really trying to be as accurate to the time as possible yeah. with the details and everything. And they they really try to. Obviously, it's a supernatural elements, of, you know, with uh, curses and things, but. They, they're like, no, but let's take this serious. You know, obviously it's a goofy movie. There's a lot of silly stuff that happens, but overall the story is very immersive. You know, yeah. it's realistic and having, the you know, the, the costumes, the, the, uh, it was, it was the first time of the hundredth, 150th time I've seen this movie that I actually put the subtitles on. And there's so many words I didn't even catch. When I'm a kid, you, you only catch half the dialogue and you don't care. You're like, let's just see Jack chase the monkey again. But there's so many great, like period accurate terms that they use that also just always went over my head you know uh probably that's a testament to how good this movie is yeah uh in fulfilling what what it was trying to yeah. uh to do which is fun adventure yeah. movie yeah is that you don't really notice things like that yeah. you know like the whole movie you're just having a whole lot of fun yeah and you don't notice how well they capture uh the times yeah right yeah yeah little things like that well and, yeah. I, and what i like about that too again i don't find it it doesn't condescend like some just big blockbuster movies do because they'll use terms like grapnel i don't even know what you know you assume okay it's a grappling hook but like that kind of thing but it's like terms that are never used anymore and they'll put them in there because it's important for the immersion but a lot of movies that will kind of just try to catch as wide a net as possible, they will modernize the language so that more people will feel understood and they won't be confused or feel dumb because they don't know what the character is saying. With this movie, they're like, no, we're going to talk with all these kinds of parlay savvy, and those are probably even more understandable terms. There's, there's stuff they're using, like um, nautical terms and, and techniques for sailing that you're just like, I don't know what this means, but, you know. Yeah. And, and I like that because then it's it shows that they're, I think they're, they're 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 relying on let's just make this a quality thing and still have a fun time with it and you know you'll get the people that will just be along for the ride you know I know that I'm someone who likes uh quote unquote quote, deep movies whatever that is <laughs> yeah but um yeah I I very much I, I I'm less likely to watch a fun adventure movie yeah. I did watch this because uh, he wanted to watch it, so you it's know. Special. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I think I mean, they still throw in some. There's there's some underlying class things going on as well with him just being a blacksmith. So of course Elizabeth being of upper class, the his fa- her father does not really approve of just thinking you should just marry the Commodore, kind of regardless of whether you have much chemistry, because that would just be a smart match and it would look good on our family. Things like that, you know. Yeah. And uh, so you get that underlying the Com- Norrington just doesn't really respect Willie, kind of. Just simply because he was like, you're just like a, who are you? You're a nobody. Why do I even pay attention to you? You know, that kind yeah. of thing. But and again, as much as they have all of those little things, yeah. the movie isn't, doesn't take itself that yeah. seriously. Yeah. And you are just, you know, moving seamlessly through it yeah. and just enjoying it yeah. with all of these serious things happening yeah. around it, which I like yeah. because then it's a movie for everyone. Yeah. If we wanted to, we could actually have a very serious yeah. dis- discussion about Pirates of the Caribbean and yeah. talk about things like that, yeah. right? Yeah. Class systems and all these things. We can do that with yeah. with the movie. Yeah, you can also just talk or about. Or you can just say the great, it was fun. Yeah, a great special effect, especially for two thousand three. I love seeing yeah, the, the, when they're cursed and they go through the light and then they come back out. So there's a brief bit where they're skeletons and they move back to their. You know, there's a lot of cool special effects like that. Yeah, I definitely um, would have loved to uh, watch this. Uh, like in a cinema. Yeah. That yeah. would have been great, I, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. Overall, I think it was a great movie, honestly. Let me not even say overall, like I had any issues with it. Yeah. I did not have any issues with yeah. it. The only issue it's I had not with really it your is, type is of because movie, it's a fun also. adventure movie, which yeah. is not a movie that I would actually gravitate toward, yeah. towards. But otherwise, I think it's a fantastic movie. Yeah. I love Johnny Depp. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> he is so good. Yeah. I feel like when you play, I cannot imagine how hard it is or how hard it would be to play a pirate. Yeah. Right? First of all. Yeah. But then a pirate that's goofy. Yeah. I feel like it would be easier to play a pirate that's kind of like super serious. I kill people yeah. for a living. Yeah. You know? But if you're a you know, a super fun, charming, <laughs> yeah. quirky pirate, how the heck yeah. could, do you pull that off? Yeah. Get Johnny Depp. Yeah, that's exactly. what you do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Honestly. He was yeah. like I don't know, like a washed out Yeah. Um, well, he actually based it if you want to know. Rock star. 
who's like clinging yeah. to yeah. like yeah. The, the vestiges of fame, yeah. you know, like that he. It's funny you say that had. because he based his character a lot on Keith Richards, the main guitarist for the Rolling Stones, oh. the biggest, oldest <laughs> no rock band. Way. Yeah. Well, he, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, that's what he's like. He's yeah. like a, a, a rock star who was yeah. once famous and just doesn't want to let go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? And, yeah. and and there's that theme, too, of, you know, there's everyone's feeling kind of very restricted, whether it's from, like, the, the clothing of the time. You have to wear corsets. You have to wear these wigs. You know, there's a lot of formality and pomp and ceremony. And then the pirates kind of represent that last bit of of freedom and, tr- you know, treading your own course and that kind of thing, right? And once you get a taste of it, it's hard to then kind of assimilate back into maybe just getting, you know, a normal job or whatever, or, yeah. you know. You can do that, you but can, this you can is... Look into it, but you, <laughs> yeah. you also can really just sit back and there's just and a lot just of great fun. creative action and, yeah, yeah. great moments. And it, yeah. yeah. Even, even when I thought I, c- I couldn't notice anything else new after seeing it, at the end, when uh, they're surrounded again, you know, and, and, and Will's decided to set, set a help him get out of the gallows... Uh, he's got a big feather on the cap of the back of his hat and, and Jack's kind of, it's in his face. He's kind of like, <laughs> like trying to blush. I'm like, I've never even noticed that before. Like there's just like every little, there's, yeah, there's so many great details in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. about it. That's about it. Yeah. It is a great movie. Yeah. yeah. I, and I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Right on. Yeah. yeah. I am. Me too. 100% Me too. 10 out of 10. Fun, adventure. Yeah. I used, Comedy. To li- I, I used to listen to the soundtrack on my MP3 player as I was waiting after Taekwondo class. So it yeah. just, everyone else would be talking and I'm like. I don't know. I'm struggling to kind of really, but you know, I got Pirates of the Caribbean on my MP3, yeah. so I'm good. Yeah. 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 That's about it. Yeah. All right, folks. Goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>